boys are going to tell you a little story. So if you're subscribed, you know what's going on. But if you're not subscribed, then we can talk about stuff. So I have the transmission out right now. I had an issue with my torque converter that was, it was like slipping really bad. Here's the old converter. This used to be like a billet aluminum color, but it's all completely smoked. You can see how bad it was slipping, how hot it got. So I do have a new converter going in, but this is a Circle D triple disc, so I don't really want to mess this thing up. So what I want to do is try to verify a couple things before I can while I have the transmission out swapping the converter. Basically going to check uh, the solenoids, all the solenoids, and just measure them for resistance. That's all I feel like I can really do at this point, just as a little bit of uh, extra reassurance before I put it back in because I want to make sure that it wasn't a transmission issue that caused the slipping. So without being able to verify line pressure or anything like that, I'm going to check solenoids. That's what we're going to do today. So there's a little plug on the outside of the transmission, and this is what basically gives everything inside the transmission the signal and controls everything. So I'll, we'll be able to do some measuring with these little pins inside here, and I'll post up some screenshots because it'll be a lot easier to see. But I do have the pins marked that I need to measure. Uh, basically going to do... There's two pins over on the left side, a little difficult to see. Two pins over on the left side, there's four pins over on the top. Uh, that top one is like a 12 volt, and then you have A, B, C, and D across the top. So we have A is A solenoid, B is B solenoid, and then C and D are going to be the pressure control solenoid, high and low. And then we also have one little pin, where's my finger? We have one little pin over on this side, that is going to be for the uh, torque converter clutch solenoid. So basically what I'm going to be doing is measuring resistance from the 12 volt over to the torque converter clutch solenoid, 12 volt up to A, 12 volt up to B to check those, and then I'm going to measure a resistance across C and D. So I do have some specs. I'll show you what they look like and see if everything is okay. So I will add before we do this, I know this probably isn't like a completely foolproof method of making sure that there's no issues, but it's just one other step to make sure there isn't a solenoid that's completely outside of the operating range for resistance and causing another issue. So I do have this uh, ATSG manual that I bought a while back when I originally did my first rebuild on one of these. So I kind of just keep it around for reference and it doesn't have the the resistance numbers in there but I did find them online and wrote them down in there so there was a a change around like the 93 94 years for the wiring so there's like old wiring new wiring and one and I like that because the screenshot that I'm gonna post in the video has 20 to 40 ohms for early and then 10 to 15 ohms for late on the torque converter clutch uh, solenoid so I'm gonna be looking for 10 to 15 on this one, but just wanted to talk about that. So now I'll have this for reference and it's right on the shelf. All right, so I got the multimeter set up on Holmes. Try to do everything so you guys can see what's going on. But like I said, I'm gonna go from that 12 volt pin over to A and I'm gonna be looking for 20 to 40 ohms on each of these solenoids. So this can be a little tricky with the, the pin on the pin here to actually hold it long enough to get a decent reading, but there's a solenoid at 20.9, so that one is in range. This is the B solenoid, and if you see the numbers going back to open, it's because they keep slipping off. There's 21.3 for the B solenoid, so that one's in range. So now I'm going to check the uh, pressure control, so we'll go across C and D. That one's at four and a half, so the the range on that one should be between two or three and a half and four and a half. So that one's good. That one's in range, and now I'll check the torque converter clutch. And this is one I was kind of concerned about because uh, well, torque converter clutch solenoid, I should say. So this uh, this was the one I was really concerned about, just to make sure that it wasn't something inside the transmission. So I'm going to go across from the 12 volt pin over to the S pin all the way on the opposite side. And this one should be between 10 and 15 because this is the late model. This is like a 98 or 99. So this one's at 10.7. So that one's also in the range. So it looks like everything is okay on this end. Like I said, not a, not a complete diagnosis, but at least I would be able to eliminate some, you know, 
uh, big issue or whatever before I put the transmission back in. So, alrighty guys, that's about it. Hopefully this helped. Uh, if you guys are a little bit more familiar with this troubleshooting process, feel free to leave it in the comments.